Okay, today's exercise is I'm going to show you how to find a bunch of vulnerabilities on a web server. Now this could be Microsoft's IIS web server or it could be say the Apache or Nginx web servers. And for today's tool, I'm going to teach you on using the Metasploit framework and associated plugins. Now this is by no means the only way to find vulnerabilities with a web server. There's plenty of different methodologies, but this one has kind of a lot of tools all built in. It's quite a handy uh, set of tools and it is very effective against finding vulnerabilities on a series of platforms, not just one. So today, as I say, you can use this for IIS, you could use this for Apache, Nginx, whole bunch of different platforms. And um, it's a freely available piece of software. In fact, if you use Kali Linux, it's built into Kali Linux. So I'll just fire up uh, Metasploit first of all and show you uh, what we're going to do with that. So um, first of all, I go into the console. Now you have to have um, Metasploit actually up and running. Um, so make sure if you get any errors about it, make sure that the Metasploit uh, system has been initialized. I won't go into that, but it's fairly self-explanatory how to do that. Okay, so this is what the Metasploit uh, interface looks like. And first of all, we've got to know what our target is. So hopefully you, by now you've understood that this looks for vulnerabilities and it tries its hardest to get into a server and exploit those vulnerabilities or at least find the vulnerabilities. So doing that can be quite taxing on the target. Um, so with all my videos on showing you how to do things like this, Obviously, you want to be doing this on your own test machine. You do not want to be doing this on a live production machine, and you certainly should not be doing this on somebody else's machine, um, especially not without permission, or of course. Um, so first of all, let's have a look at the, um, the ports that are open on a particular machine. Now, the way that we can do that is with Nmap, and there's actually a built-in plugin for Nmap built into Metasploit itself. So my machine that I'm trying to exploit is basically the, its own machine. It's um, its loopback machine. So 192.168.056 is the IP address for that. And this is going to, using the, the V flag is going to, the capital V flag, is going to check out the, um, the version numbering of all of the services that are open. So right now we can see that this Kali Linux box has both port 22 open, which is SSH, and also port 80, which it's identified correctly as the Apache web server 2.4.57. So now that we've got that information, we can click uh, we can type, excuse me, <clears throat> services, and that just gives you a brief overview of the services that um, that Nmap and the um, Metasploit framework believes are running on that. And you can check that out saying Nmap obviously understands these services, and now Metasploit understands these services as well. So that information is correct. Now we're going to use a Metasploit plugin called WMAP, which basically maps out vulnerabilities within web uh, frameworks or web servers, I should say. So I'm going to load that module in by typing load WMAP, and you can see that 1.51 version 1.51 has been started. And next, what I want to do is have a look at the sites that I'm going to try and look for vulnerabilities in. So the way that I do that is with WMAP sites, and if you do dash H, it will give you the uh, the overall overall help for that and I can see there that dash a and then the URL will give me the particular option of adding a URL so in this case I'm just doing again one thing two one six eight zero dot five six but you can also add the, the fully qualified domain name if you have one so now that's successfully inserted and you way that you can check these things by the way uh, just according to the help there above is by doing dash l and that shows you that it's now been added to the sites now of course we have to specify the target it's not good enough just to specify the site it's kind of like a, a dictionary of 
sites that we've got available to us, we actually have to add them as targets to WMAP. And the way we do that is to do WMAP-targets. And again, if we can look at dash H, we can see the help for that. And it, and it shows you there that the uh, way to um, add the target is to do uh, dash uh, D, uh, which will define the target. And obviously we have an ID there of zero, which is the first target. And I'll just enter dash D zero there. And now we can see again that the targets have been added and it's just one target in this case. So there's the target and there's the sites. So they're two separate things. And now we want to run that scan. So we'll do WMAP dash run and dash T for targets. So I'll just show you the help first of all for the syntax for that command that you can see show on all enabled modules and it's just going to run through all of those modules. Um, and so that takes a wee while because there's a fair amount of modules. There's something in the area of 40 modules to run through. So we'll fast forward this video right now for your viewing pleasure. Okay, so that took a wee while, um, but now all of the modules are loaded up. Uh, we are ready to start the run. So uh, just change that dash T that we did earlier to a dash E, and that should go now and run all of those modules that we just loaded against the target. And uh, we can see that uh, you know this is not an SSL site, this is just a bare bones install of Apache. So I would be surprised if it didn't have one or two vulnerabilities. So it's looking up against, you can see all the modules now loading away uh, and doing their thing. So for example, there's some file and directory testing and looking for sort of vulnerable um, directory paths. And uh, that one, again, that will take some time to run through. So I'll fast forward for you and save you the hassle of watching all of that. Okay, so now that it's run through that bunch of tests, now what's all left to do is find out if any of those uh, findings are actually vulnerabilities. And the way we do that in Metasploit is just type in the word vulns. And we can see, fortunately, somehow, um, this, uh, this box is not vulnerable to any particular vulnerability. So that's that's quite surprising, to be honest with you. I expected that this uh, one would be vulnerable to some uh, problems, but that's all good. But basically, what I've um, what I've just shown you there, you can take that um, in any sort of example and use that anywhere else uh, and find if there's vulnerabilities. So what I've basically shown you is how to scan the ports of a particular um, host in. Uh, inside the Metasploit framework using the Nmap module, and then also discover with the WMAP uh, module, discover a host, and then run a vulnerability scan against it using all the modules that's built into the WMAP, and then finally see if there's any vulnerabilities that can be exploited with that particular uh, host that you've scanned. So I hope that has helped, and uh, happy hunting.